Well, today our chief mom officer is back from City Moms. It's Janine Bob and Moyer. How are you? Hi there, I'm great. Thanks for having me. Well, we're so glad you're part of our show now because we know when you come, you're going to bring some awesome ideas for not just moms, but whole families. And this time of the year, there's a lot of folks out there that are looking for holiday ideas. Like, yes. where can we go as a family and what are some of the things we can do? So if you don't mind, there's a really great new tradition that has kind of started in central Indiana years ago. And you're telling us it's just continuing to get bigger and better. It is. We're talking about the Carmel Chris Kindle Mart. So the idea of this outdoor holiday market, European style, has really taken off across the country. Yeah. And we're seeing the biggest ones in Chicago. There's one just north of Detroit, Michigan, in Frankenmuth. But the Carmel Chris Kindle Mart is the one that has really taken over all of the airwaves. And you were just mentioning you guys actually did a show there. We did our whole show there one year. And, and since that time, it's just grown even more. It's exploded. It's now been designated the number one outdoor holiday market by USA Today's 10 Best Reader's Choice Awards. Holy cow. So this is a must put on your list. And it has become that kind of new tradition for families. Um, so this is an outdoor German style market you're gonna find all kinds of different European style you know artisans we're, we're looking right now at some of the just the fun musicians and music that you can expect to see on site. Sure. Do they still have ice skating that, there? They do that's the centerpiece of everything that you'll find there and I mean we do a lot of our holiday shopping even here lots of really unique gifts like ornaments um, you'll see some woodworking being done on site I mean this is just such a dynamite kind of Hallmark Channel type of experience. And I was literally getting ready to say just the whole setting and yes. you know a lot of folks they've already made their reservations you can't go to cake bake if you don't have a reservation but it's located <laughs> right there so for future right. years it's just in the center of everything it is so. and free admission which is wonderful free so. is always good yes you know something else people like to do this time of the year is take the family and see all the Christmas lights right yes, all the holiday lights there's tons of them around I mean all the entire state of Indiana visit Indiana has a great list on their website of everything that you can expect and I think we might actually pop up a quick um, card here that includes some of our favorites at the City Moms, but one that's very close to us in Terre Haute, the Winterland uh, Light Show, which is in Danville. Okay. So, I mean, it is a little bit of a drive, but takes over the entire downtown of Danville. Um, Hendricks County is where Danville's located. They've sure. got a great uh, guide and such up on their site as well of what to expect at that Danville show. But some of the others you want to look at is um, in Muncie. They have the Luminera Walk at Minatrista. And then also, in if you're going to go back to Indianapolis, if you're maybe swinging through for Chris Kendall Mark, they have the Christmas night delights there. Uh, which is a lot of fun as well. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so now another uh, holiday tradition. This one has a little history behind it that you're going to tell us about. It does. I'm so I'm setting us back into kind of that central Indiana area. This is Fishers, Indiana. Okay. Connor Prairie. Oh, I um, love Connor Prairie. Connor Prairie is wonderful. So for those of our viewers that aren't familiar with it, it's an interactive um, historic park, actually. So lots of us are really familiar with it, having gone there for fourth grade field trips. <laughs> I remember that. I mean, when you're doing that <laughs> of Indiana kind of experience, but this is their Merry Prairie holiday. So they've really taken kind of the holidays to that next level. You're going to have selfies with Santa. They have a polar bear tubing hill, uh, polar bear plunge tubing hill. They also have a lights display that you can actually walk through, so not even a drive through. Oh, nice. But Look they, at all the great photo drops yeah, there. So yeah, so many. We were just here on Friday, so lots of fun that you can have here. Um, and they also do a really wonderful job of using those outbuildings that they have on site that are very historic historically based in, rooted in Indiana history, and doing a lot of experience through those as well. You can walk through, get to know a lot of the interpreters, learn more. I love all these ideas you've brought to us, but I know that you have so many more. So if we've got viewers right now that want to see some of the ideas that you're yes. sharing, where can they go? The citymoms.org. We have a whole Midwest holiday fun, uh, worth the drive guide up on our site right now as well, um, because we know a lot of our viewers are probably going to be traveling a little bit sure. you know, throughout the Midwest, so find some other things to do there. there are on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, you can find them. Join them because membership is free. If you scan that QR code, you'll be able to find out more about it, more about the City Moms. And listen, you're coming back again because we're going to do a little segment on gift wrapping, yes. right? Some great gift wrapping hacks. I'm counting on you. I need some hacks for gift wrapping. So I've got them for you. I can't wait to see it. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you so much. Once again, it's the City Moms and check them out so that you too can enjoy some great holiday trips with your family this season and stay with us. We'll be right back.